Chapter 2. What is Git? To understand what Git is, let us start by explaining the problem it is trying to solve. The problem is that people don't always get it right from the first time. The content of this Git training didn't spring from my mind fully formed. It started out as a list of bullet points of things I wanted to cover. Then it was gradually turned into a rough draft over numerous edits and rewrites. At some point, I also started to involve other people. I asked them to proofread or provide input, which led to more changes. Somehow, we need to keep track of all these changes and ensure that at any time we can go back to an earlier version, or allow multiple people to work on the same text without overriding each other's changes. If you've ever seen a folder with a file listing like this, you're already familiar with this problem. git draft.md, git draft.o2.md, git o3.md, git o3 underscore comments by search.md, git good.md, git good underscore final.md. This is not an efficient way to keep track of different versions of a single file, let alone if we may have many different files with different collaborators working on them. What we need is some sort of system to control all of these different versions somehow. Thankfully, such systems exist, and software that is created specifically for this task are called version control systems. Git is such a version control system, but there are others too. Let's meet a few of them.